after struggling with Cyndaquil for so long, I decided I'm going to take a break for a multitude of reasons. And the main one, well, there's two main reasons. The first one, after five long goddamn years, it's finally here. Nintendo finally decided to release. This is not shiny Zycard. I had to, okay. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm glad we finally have this. I'd rather hunt it, sure, but... Come on, how can you not like that shiny? That's an amazing shiny. That, and... Hey, now that it's been released, it's probably gonna be... Unlocked next gen. Or you know, you could just, um... Make shiny locks not a thing. That's... That, that's, that's a great idea, isn't it, Game Freak? But, yeah, I won't... I won't complain. I will be getting this again in every version I have. Now there is something I want to try. I did... I'm gonna go get... I didn't... Ugh. So we have shiny like a... Oh. Crap. <laughs> okay, um... Get out of here, sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop these sets of natures or anything because, well, um, I have more. I still have two, three more versions to get it in. Okay, okay whatever. Level 100 because it's Ultra Moon. Oh my god. Finally. So it has thou thousand arrows, okay. Thousand arrows, extreme speed, outrage, and dragon dance. Like, why would, why just Thousand Arrows? Why not give it, why not give it Corn Force, sorry, or freaking, or all of its signature moves? Eh, whatever. It, it's just confusing to me. I'm going to show this in battle, and there is another thing I want to try, which is, can you access the other forms? Because... This thing normally does. This thing has aura break by default, so I do want to see if you can mess around with uh, the the thing that you use to change its form, the Zygarde Cube and uh, what's it called the Zygarde Cube and whatever that thing on Route 16 is. I do in this game, but I haven't done that side quest yet, so uh, is a front. Is it? I think it's a front. Yeah, he is. So, uh, I'm gonna show this in battle. I'm gonna switch over to Ultra Sun, where I have done that side quest, and I have a Zygarde to just eat. To just mess with regular Meow. And after five years, shiny Zygarde. Oh, it feels so good to have this thing finally. Alright, so, I am going to... I'm going to save my game, because, obviously, I'm going to cut back in a minute, where I'll have Ultra Sun open, I'll have my Zygarde, of course, and we'll see if we can mess around with the forms. Okay, I'm back here on Route 16, I think it is. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter what route number it is, so... This place, wait, it's on my team. Let's just take a look at this other Zygarde. This is a different Zygarde. At least you wouldn't be able to tell it's a different Zygarde, because it has the same nature, I think. Now, I believe... What would you like to do? Assembly, separation... Uh, use Zygarde and Zygarde cube. We'll select this Zygarde, that's the shiny one. Yeah, you can do it! You can, you can get a shiny Zygarde with Power Construct. 
Zygarde has been reassembled. So yeah, he has Power Construct now. Which means we can get all the forms. So I'm going to quickly change him into Doggo form. If I can find this... There we go, Zygarde Cube. Use this item. Change form. He's now Shiny Doggo. So yep, th there he is, our shiny Zygarde, shiny Zygarde doggo, and I'm gonna try and get into 100% form. Power Construct is annoying because you just get him down to one, to not one health. God, that will be a very bad ability then. Uh, you have to get into 50% health, so this will take a minute. <laughs> um... He's up front. Yeah, I did this to me again. Okay then. Scraggy. I'll show it off in battle. I'll go to a place with higher level Pokemon. And there we go. Shiny Zygarde Doggo. Doggo form. So, let's go to a place that has much higher, that has higher level Pokemon. Uh, Let's go to Pony Gauntlet, I think that has the highest level ones. Go there, we will um, wait for him to go below 50% health, and then we'll see. Um, and then we will see perfect Shiny Zygarde. Regular Grand Bull, and Shiny Zygarde Doggo. I suppose while I'm waiting uh, for this thing to... Oh god, I didn't turn off animations, did I? I'm gonna pop one in front of the orb so he can call in help. That way it'll go down quicker. Let's see how much this does. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not gonna be waiting as long as I thought. Um, okay, so don't use play rough, because we might... I swear to god, it's just KOs. Since the presence of many... Oh my god. Oh my god, it looks amazing! Why is this not Shiny Huntable Game Freak? Why do you do this to us? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, I forgot to load it. Look at him. He looks badass. Why can't we hunt this? Why are Shiny Locks a thing? Seriously. Seriously, why are shiny locks a thing? Would you not want to encounter this in the wild? Yeah, I know it probably wouldn't be. You probably wouldn't encounter this form in the wild, but the point still stands. Oh my god. Seriously, Game Freak, unlock this thing next generation. I know they're not going to shiny unlock it in the whole Pokemon Let's Go Let's Go Eevee thing and all that, but because it's not going to be in that game. I'm going to show transforming again while I talk. Speaking of which, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu is a thing. I'm probably not going to pick it up. Like, personally, I'm kind of sick of Kanto. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a bad game by any means. Like, far from it. Oh, wow, he goes back to 100% health. Why did I run? I don't think it's going to be a bad game by any means, but... Yeah, I don't like how they change the wild encounters to to be the Pokemon Go style. Besides that, it's probably going to be a solid game. But I really see no reason to get it. I'm obviously not going to shiny hunt it because presumably the only legendaries available will be the legendary Burbs, Mewtwo, and maybe Mew. If Mew's obtainable in the game, I probably will get it just to hunt Mew. Because I literally have no other, no better way of doing that. I could theoretically do it in red, where, but... Hunting in red is weird. Not to mention it would be very difficult to actually make it transferable. 
Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on that. And the Fiery Week starts tomorrow, too. Uh, I will be participating. I'll be hunting in Pokemon Heart Gold, Platinum, and Pearl. I got a lot of list. I can. Oh, God, I thought I could get through one video without stuttering, but no. I have a good few targets lined up, way too many to list off. The majority are in Heart Gold because the Great Marsh just sucks. But, oh my God, it was an. It was an ordeal playing through Pearl again, because it was a Nuzlocke, and everyone died. Yes, it, it ended like Infinity War. Everyone except Palkia died. Like, Palkia had to carry my team through the Elite Four. But, yeah, and oh my god, Lickitung just did, I know it's a Zygarde, just, you know, no, I'm just gonna run and find something else. I wanna end the video on the, on the giant, on giant green toothpaste to cell thing. <laughs> That's the best. Thank you, Gramble. That's probably the best description I can give a perfect shiny Zygarde. Giant perfect cell mint thing. That wasn't even the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll be hunting. I'll be doing Safari Week, so that's great. I've actually never done Safari Week, so I'm very much looking forward to failing so many shinies. Assuming I find any to begin with. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so bad. It's the presence of many. Shiny perfect Zygarde. Oh, I'm sorry, complete Zygarde. It's great, it's called perfect Zygarde. Just gonna let you look. Pample, get out of the frame! I'm gonna let you look at that design for a minute, because that looks amazing. It's been Shiny Samurott. Thank you for watching. Anyone who participates in Safari Week, good luck. I hope you don't fail anything. And have a good day. Or night. I don't know where you are. <laughs>